Today, I'm taking my brother's 15-year-old pedal bike and I'm gonna turn it into an e-bike. That bike has seen many days in the, uh, the elements, huh? <laughs> With this kit from Switch. In box number one, we have power cord. cord. Okay. That looks like the power LCD yeah. module. Oh boy. Okay, there's lots of stuff in here. So that's gonna be the sensor for the crank arm along with a whole ton of zip ties and a bunch of little things. Box number four. Charger. Guessing that's gonna be the battery. And there it is. Battery. Nice. We would call this a dad present because it's not wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a bag. Like I went to the store, bought you something. Merry Christmas. That's true. <laughs> I feel like you've had some experience <laughs> with that. It's pretty cool because if you want to do this to your bike, you just uh, give them the dimensions of the front fork and then they just put the motor on the right size rim and there you go. The kit comes with a QR code that walks you through step-by-step -step on how to install. First step is just taking off the wheel. Oh, you just took the tube off your old rim, right? I did. You gotta put it on the new rim. So that's what we did. Is it on? And it's on. That took less than a minute. We then put it back on the bike with 19. Millimeter wrench. 19 millimeter wrench. That's pretty standard. You're pretty standard. Thank you. This is an older bike, and so it has these, I don't know what you want to call those, clamp brakes. If you did have disc brakes, then it has all the stuff there to add your rotor on there. So this is the cadence sensor. So this is what's going to go around the crank, which is pretty awesome how they, I, I peeked in the instructions, and it's pretty cool to see how you actually do that. There so there's the instructions which show you which way those spines should go. It says working surface. The working surface goes against the frame of the bike. Lines up and then you just snap it together, right? Right, with this armature being parallel with the crank. Oh, perfect. This is the Pac-Man ring. So it just goes on the outside of it. Goes on the outside of it. We then noticed that we had it on backwards, so we took out the screw, turned it around to match the groove of the arm, and then zip tied it. This piece is the sensor for the magnets, and they want us to put it as close as we can. So right there or there. Got the sensor mounted just with some two-sided tape, and then, oh, that is... Yeah, just gotta make sure that the round part of that sensor right there is meeting the magnets. And you don't want a very large gap. And then you wanna zip tie it after you put the tape on, which we're doing now. All right, we got a spot for the battery. We're just strapping it to the frame. Just. Three Velcro straps. Is that all it is? Just one of those tres. Wow. I feel like it needs to be on there better. Is that Sorry. holding it good? One of those catorce. That's actually on there pretty good. That's actually, yeah. It's cool. The quick release thing. All right. Pop it in. There we go. We got to add the display next. Yep. We have upgraded our sound quality to our microphones now because there's a. There's, there's this guy that's making a lot of noise in the background. He's making you a neighbor. That is the, the moment of conception of a house. Control pad has been mounted just with one screw, just wraps around the handlebars. And then we just connect it the corresponding color, green to green. Now we're just gonna zip tie all the cords so it looks nice and tight. That's what Ben's doing and we should be done. This is pretty cool. Like I'm excited to see how well it's gonna work. I am too. Okay, I think we're done. I have been charging it up. Here's the charge port. And it has this, it's like a waterproof covering that just pops in there. There is a button for the battery. So we got four out of the five lights. Peel this off. Oh, there we go. So you have one, two, three, four, five pedal assist levels and button to change the readouts. And that is pretty much it. We're thinking that and I'm gonna check this. I'll put a link in the uh, in the description if I find out if this is true, but you have two ports here. I'm betting that's for a headlight and for a throttle. Start pedaling. I wanna see how reactive the sensor is. Uh, stop pedaling. Does the power cut off pretty quick? Yes, it does. So like a full revolution. A full revolution before the power comes on. About three quarters of a second and it turns off. And let's see how fast it can go. So just do pedaling. I got my speedometer on my bike. So are you flat out? That's, that's about it. That's 18 miles an hour. How much resistance are you feeling? None. The bike's doing 100%. Oh, 100%. This is just me engaging the pedal assist. Oh, that's awesome. The transition between on and off is really smooth. Here's an acceleration test. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Ah, that's pretty poppy. Nice. When you're pedaling, are you hitting that battery at all? Are your legs? No. No? Uh-uh. Okay. Not at all. Engage. Oh yeah, three-fourths of a revolution that comes on. My bike's doing 100%. Just keep the pedals turning and it goes. Well, okay, so uh, if you wanna turn your 15-year-old bike into a brand new e-bike, 
There you go. That's what that worked. <laughs> That's cool. That was actually really easy to put on. Brother, thank you for helping me out with this. Appreciate it. If you want to check out other reviews that we've done together, I've got a couple up above him. So go check those out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.